Kurtosis is another descriptive statistic we can use to describe the peakness or flatness of a distribution, especially how it compares to the normal distribution. Here we see that the numerator of the Kurtosis statistic is the fourth central moment, this, this, the sum of the deviations to the power of four. The denominator is just there to standardize the value of the numerator. In this case, because we've got a, an exponent raised to the power of four up top, and all positive terms on the bottom, the kurtosis ratio is always going to be a positive number. But we subtract three from that number in order to center the kurtosis statistic around zero. So a normal, a normal curve is going to have a kurtosis equal to zero. And then we can have positive kurtosis and negative kurtosis. So when kurtosis is close to zero, or equal to zero, we say that the curve is mesokurtic. Here, meso means medium. So this is a medium level of, of peakness. And the normal distribution, by definition, has a kurtosis equal to zero. If kurtosis is greater than zero, if the k statistic is greater than zero, we will call the curve leptokurtic. Lepto is Greek for skinny. And you can see that this distribution is tall and skinny. So positive kurtosis indicates a relatively peak distribution. There is a high frequency in only a small part of the curve. So here we have a lot of observations. So if this is if frequency is increases in that dimension, we have a lot of observations right in the middle of the curve and then very few elsewhere. The third case for kurtosis is when kurtosis is less than zero, or negative number. Here we will call this platykurtic. Platy is Greek for broad, and you can remember that because of a platypus, which has a very broad beak. Negative kurtosis indicates a relatively flat distribution. In other words, all the data, uh, the frequencies throughout the curve are fairly even. All values are fairly evenly represented throughout the curve. There's not a lot of peakness in the curve. 